<clears throat> Hello! Hello, buddies. My volume is too loud. Turn that down. I'm playing Dead Cells. Um, we'll see if I keep this recording. This is a fun game. I've been playing it a lot lately, and it seems like a fun game to record. So, a quick overview of how the game works is... It's kind of like Rogue Legacy in terms of like permanent progression and gradual unlocks the more you play. Uh, it's kind of Dark Soulsy in the way that if you're not careful when fighting dudes you will get fucked up really fast and die really fast. And then it's kind of... I think of it kind of like Borderlands with the, the items where they can, none of them, none of the starting ones will have a good example of this, but the items can pull from a pool of a large number of different attributes, so you can uh, have a lot of variety in your weapons despite them being the same type of weapon. Uh, so you get two uh, primary weapons, then later on I'll find some secondary skills as well. Uh, let's just dive in here. <clears throat> I'm not very good at this game yet. I've only been like, uh... My volume is still really loud. I need to be able to hear myself. I'll just I know I'm talking. Um, I've only put in like 12 hours or so. I beat the game one time. Um, the game had its current... Why did I need to upgrade my skills? I don't have any skills yet. I don't particularly like either of my starting weapons right now. Hopefully I get some skills pretty soon or just something else to switch to. Uh, this game's in early access. They're actively working on it. They recently put out a good update for it, that's been a lot of fun. So, Surrey Shield isn't really what I had in mind. And skip that. Buy myself an HP upgrade. So the way this game works is that, uh, it's... The, the floors are randomly generated from the set uh, room templates just pieced together in a, you know, random order. Some healing. Um, the floors are the same every time, and you can go to all the same floors every time, but they'll be different every time. Simple stuff. Uh, so fire grenade, I am going to buy an oil sword. I do because that will go well with my fire. So I'm gonna buy both of them. Do I want... Do I want the Nutcracker or do I want the Electric Whip? I do not like the Nutcracker. And then this is Phaser. I don't want to spend much more money, honestly. So I'm my skill buttons there. So... Right now, I'm rocking a synergy that will allow me to, um, with my oil sword, apply oil to victims, and then I can set that on f or set them on fire with my fire grenade. And uh, oiled enemies will do extra damage. Uh, will sorry, will take extra damage after they're set on fire. So this is kind of what one of the individual paths looks like to go to another level area. This dude does nothing for me. He's been dead for a while. Uh, yeah, so on, on each floor, you can... Do I wanna... Yeah, okay. Let's make this video last a little while longer. So this is Yggdar Urus Lee Ox, aka YOLO. So it's a, it's a one up. Um, yeah, so in each stage, there are usually. There are a couple exceptions, but there are branching level paths you can take with branching 
or with uh, different difficulties and different enemies. Uh, some are easier than others and will reward you with different um, loot, uh, amounts of loot, uh, just various skills. Ice bow, I will take. Yeah. Freeze guys. Actually, should I even bother with the ice bow? Because I'm dealing with fire. So, you know what? I changed my mind. I'll rub this little statue here. Assassin's dagger. I like the assassin's dagger. It flicks a crit when you backstab. But I'm going to try and stick with my fire. Set up right now. Oh, you know what? This I will take. So, 100% uh, extra damage on a burning target. This is a big, slow weapon. It's pretty obvious to see how that will be pretty awesome for me if I remember to use it when uh, something's on fire. Probably not going to come very much in handy, if I'm honest. So, we've now explored the entire map. There are three paths I can take in this. There's the promenade on the right there, there's the toxic sewers on the bottom left, and the ossuary right here next to me. Ossuary is the hardest one. I'm going to go to that one because I like it and I am sporting an okay build right now. So, uh, you go and talk to this guy in between each stage. And this is where you can deposit the souls. You can see on the bottom left my 15 souls there. You deposit your souls towards upgrading equipment, unlocking new equipment. Like if I put four into this, I will unlock the torch. Ignites your enemies and flips damage. But uh, I've been going towards unlocking healing potion four. You can see uh, on the bottom left the left bumper icon. That's my potion. So, and it's kind of like, it's just like a healing flask that you have a set number of charges for each level. Do I... Wow, this is really, uh, poison-focused, despite being a torch. Does this work? Yeah, okay, it's a torch. I'm gonna stick with this guy. This is where you refill your flask between levels, but I have surprisingly not even taken damage so far, so I'm not needing to mess with that. Oh, okay, let me remind myself of what my items are and my buttons. So that guy... It's a real pain. Uh, the... The circle glowy guy. The, this guy is kind of a pain too. Oops. Jesus Christ. Okay. So there's a uh See my health bar has this uh, shrinking yellow bar. If I attack enemies while that's shrinking, that's HP. I can still recover. I'm just not doing a great job with it right now. Yeah, that really uh really does some damage. Oh, I forgot I have an extra life, so I don't need that. Bear trap I don't like, even though it deploys oil. Damage on stun, plus skills. You know, cover 
there's a ground of flammable oil. Let's do it. Guaranteed loot and spawn them by entering a room with that uh, symbol on it. I'm already out of healing flasks, so I'm off to a pretty bad start. Yeah, like I said, I uh, get my buttons confused sometimes, and that's not good for me. Prison Depths is the hardest level branch I can take right now. I'm not super keen on it. Is this going to be another level? I'm just going to run forever. like to change my weapons. Well, there's a rune here. So there are rooms that hide in the walls and floors and they'll open... The ones on the floors will open up to challenge areas, which I will go to in a moment here, even though I will certainly fail it. in the walls have either treasure or sometimes healing items. So yeah, challenge areas, you have to basically get to the exit, kill everybody, and if you take damage you lose. Not very successful. I'm pretty sure I hate Phaser. I always get confused by it. So I'm actually just going to be like, not even use it. It's a stun, uh, creates a volley of arrows, causes arrows to fall. That's not even relevant for me, but that's okay. I'm being super aggressive, jumping into these guys when uh, I can just hang back and wait. It's mostly because I don't actually like this run very much. There we go. 
Okay. Goodbye, flashbang. So, grenade fire grenade combo is really good. And I feel bad because I always end up sticking with it if I ever get it, and I don't branch out very much. But it's just kind of a really good one two punch. They've got pretty fast cooldowns. Skills powers up and reduces my cooldown, so that is great. I really thought I was going to get tagged there. Okay, so I'm gonna say. Oh, projectiles burn the ground. Good fight a broadsword. Throwing knives are um, good for range, which I appreciate some of. Throwing weapons, not just throwing weapons, but uh, ranged weapons. Oh god. Okay, 2 HP. With ranged weapons, uh, you can see I have got a limited number of them. Um, and you, you'll see it come back to me there. Uh, you gain them back if you don't hit anything, or when you kill the enemy that they're stuck inside of. Oh, fuck. Oh. Okay. Still alive. Not really punished for my stupidity. Hmm, grinder four, huh? I will deploy it. There it is, me grinder. You idiot. But, uh, like I said, I like my combo, Damon. Yeah, so, um, you have limited ammo, and if they get stuck in a particularly difficult enemy, you will run out and kill the enemy guys. Turn back to a melee combat eventually. I don't like my primary weapon. To not have the Okay, so the ramparts is the other branching path, and it is much easier. But I'm going to finish exploring the floor first. My grenade just outright killed him. Uh, there are limited skills upgrades that you can get in a playthrough. And I, I don't 
actually remember how many I've done, but you can also find uh, extra ones, so it really helps to explore the map. You're only hamstringing yourself if you skip them. So I have been... here's something. There we go. There's a scroll of power right above me. I might have missed. What do I upgrade? I don't know, man. Skills. No, HP. My understanding is that you can have viable skill distribution between HP, strength, and uh, skills, but I would imagine it's probably better if you uh, pick between strength or skills depending on your loadout. There are also time doors, but as you can see, <laughs> I was a little slow on that one. That looks like the whole floor, apart from a couple corners that I'm not worried about. So, I'm going to forgo the prison depths and uh, take these away out. But this, this is not the right place to teleport to. I teleported to Flashbang. <sighs> it's always a relief when you uh, reach this guy again, because that means you get to um, put your cells to good use. It really sucks when you explore most of the floor and then die right before escaping and uh, you lose all the cells that you had and you don't get anything towards anything. And of course having full heals is... Sweet. So these throwing knives, they... Uh, okay, so they burn. Uh, throwing knives cause a bleed. Oh, I see. So the ground underneath them, even when they're in midair. Nice. That's sweet. That is just all around sweet. I'm still trying to freaking change out my main item here. Uh, main weapon, I should say. Yep, that was sealed a long damn time ago. It's fine. I've yet to make a uh, time door. I was playing far too slowly. long at this point right now, uh, and it's alpha. At least, actually, you know, I shouldn't say that because the Shinyan don't really know what I'm talking about. Um, and there is one area that I have yet to understand. Actually, make that two areas. You know, there's probably more to the game than I know right now. Uh, there are two 
doors that I don't know how to get through at this point in time. But generally it probably takes like 40 minutes to an hour for your average run right now. I do not uh I'm still alive. About an hour, like an hour and fifteen for me, realistically. Oh, good. Vampirism, huh? So that's how you uh, discover blueprints in the game. Uh, each enemy that you encounter has a chance to drop certain blueprints in some way or other than others. Um, but you have to make it to the next area to exchange them with the collector. See. Oh. Or else you lose them forever and you have to discover them again someday. So I now especially really want to make it to the next area. That shouldn't be a huge deal because um, the ramparts is generally pretty easy. Strength upgrade, though. Meat grinder, uh, damage on frozen targets. Phaser can just fuck off. Just about to uh, face the first boss of the game. Uh, he is the next area. Uh, at this point, I, I believe that, that I'm aware of there are only two bosses. Is why these grenades and other range weapons are so satisfactory. Seriously, just throwing knives. Throwing knives uh, home on enemies for a day. Uh, with bow and arrow, they tend to just uh, go straight out horizontally from where you fire, but throwing knives, you'll throw them up or down depending on the enemy location. So they. This is a tonic. So this is just like a one-time HP or a one-time heal. But they also have like the the random effects, so this one also ignites the ground, so I'm just gonna use it right there. Which amounts to me killing him slower than I normally would. I just wanted to show it off. Frantic Sword 3 inflicts a crit when you're below 50% health. Uh, it is actually less damage than what I'm using right now. Though it does crit. Whatever. I'll take it. I'll be under 50% health at some point here. Knife Storm. Knife Storm is a neat skill. It just. It's like a. You just shoot out a bunch of throwing knives. But, uh, I like my grenade combo. This is my only path to victory. This is the path to the bridge. Did I finish up there? Uh, there's like. Actually, what even is that? I see something on the top right corner of the black, so I'm actually going to go back up there. Thankfully there's a teleporter right here, and go uh, take a look at it, because that might be a skill that I... And it is, oh, uh, it's a strength, but still, I don't want to mess up on these. That's the downside of skills, potentially. So 
Assassin's Dagger 3. Do I want this more than Frantic Sword? I very well may. Nah. You know what? Nah. Uh, yeah, so, so the skills that you find can be um, any one of the three health, strength, or skills, or there can be a, a fourth one where you get to choose. So even if you're trying to... Oh, sweet. Cover 4.2 HP per melee hit that you deal for six seconds, and you take a lot of damage. That's cool. Even coolers, I am very close to unlocking that. As I was saying, um, so even if you're actively trying to have a skills focus build, sometimes you just find two or three strength upgrades and you're stuck with them. So here comes the first boss. <coughs> Excuse me. one, I want to say. Yeah. Pretty cool looking guy. You know what, I actually wish that I had my um, original sword right now for him. My oily sword. challenge just goes to show you how important it is to learn your enemies moves and such so this was still 14 minutes ago yes yeah, so you need to get here in like 10 and a half minutes in order to uh, get in there and apparently there's like either unique blueprints or maybe even a unique area uh, like stage of the game that you can get to from there I don't exactly no. So one of these days I should really try for it. The Fog Fjord is... I mean, let's be real, I can fuck up and die at any point in this game, but uh... This is a really challenging area. HP vendor, which I am not interested in. Oh god, I need more HP though, now that I'm thinking about it. And I do not um, have an amulet anymore since I died and lost my yellow heart. So I will take a 10% damage reduction. better for half the price no less it's kind of annoying but that's a good sometimes gold doesn't really mean anything in this game you get to a point where you uh you get to a point where you retain 85 percent of your gold when runs so eventually I'll just be sitting up and down a little bit. New throwing knife, I... I mean, it's better, but I, uh... The piercing is a lot better on this. 
and I've got the fire damage with it, so I'm actually going to stay with the lower, lower level throwing dagger. Pierces all enemies, like with my throwing dagger, which really is rare. Well, it's it's uncommon, so it's quite a boon to get. Right here next to where I'm standing. So you want to 
explore the uh, first floor. Nice. You want to explore the first floor all the way, or going upstairs? Cause... Because I said so. Okay, flashbang 5, so this leads to the next area, so we've found our exit door, but I'm not done exploring. Oh god, looks like one more... Maybe two more huts to go inside of. HP, he begins to teleport. Ooh. Okay. That could have been really bad. And uh, uh, the elite enemy as well. This guy kind of sucks. The elite enemies really just tend to attack like twice as fast and uh, yeah, once they reach half HP, they will all start teleporting to you. Not fun. Okay, so there was one more hut over here. See you. You're dead. Please. 
some good electric whip behind a paywall. I'm good, thanks. The electric whip apparently is supposed to be pretty good in certain situations. But... You know what? My, 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 let's, let's do it. My main hand, I've been bitching about this whole run, so let's go see where this selector whip is. You can, you can uh, break these doors down, but you get incurred with quite a penalty. Okay, damage on bleeding targets. That's cool, I guess, because uh, my throwing knives will flip bleed. I'll still probably replace this if we give them the opportunity. But yeah, that's good. Probably. Actually, no, the damage is lower than what I had. The damage is lower than what I had, but. Uh, Got one more sprawling level to explore after this, and then it's a final boss. The graveyard. Am I gonna? No. Am I gonna almost unlock my healing potion? Oh, I am going to unlock it. Oh, it's amazing been to the last boss twice now, and uh, the second time, I would argue that I only didn't win because I didn't have one more heal available. So I am excited to have them all fully unlocked now. And uh, it'll almost definitely come in handy in the graveyard too, this area is no joke. At least I've got good uh, weapons for ranged bags. Was I saying? Yeah, at least I have good weapons for dealing with ranged guys. Because as you can see. Yeah, lightning bolt guys are kind of a joke, but these hook guys freak me out. That's why. How much damage? 30% extra damage. Tonic 6. Um. Oh yeah, I forgot to point it out, but you can see there's that key, locked key icon on the map there. I need to find a key, it's in one of these huts, there's like three or four of them on the floor, it's almost always the last one, or always the last one. Oh, 
it's just a straight upgrade. I am so pleased that I uh, explored. I don't know, there is no world in which I didn't go to check that out. My grenade five gives me plus one skills, so I actually might not even want to upgrade that because uh, you shouldn't undervalue a skill, straight skills upgrade. Oh, you also shouldn't. Uh, also, shouldn't walk on spikes. Fifty-seven HP now. Nice. Yeah, this is where I backtrack. And I go pick up the tonic from before. Thank you. Tonic said plus fifty percent power. Did I read that right? What even does that mean? I wonder. I uh, should have read that more carefully. Treasure. Oh, twin daggers? Twin daggers seven? Oh no. Take 1.5 damage. This, I, I am not really confident enough in my abilities to properly utilize this. But I will try it. Twin daggers are a nice weapon in recovering 1% uh, of your life with each hit. Is, as you can imagine, fucking sweet. But, uh, 1.5 damage is no joke at this stage of the game. Yeah, that is insane. Uh, insane damage. Oh! Want me to introduce you? To uh, another enemy. Somebody over there? Where is he? Oh, there he is. Oh, I see you. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna go across the top. This guy doesn't do anything apart from camouflage. Apart from camouflage, other nearby enemies. Oh! No, 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 no! Fucking... 
look, get me out of there. attack after heart attack. Jesus Christ. Oh. My heart. Thank you, level 4. Such and such. See, this is one of the doors that I do not know how to bypass. I simply do not know. idea. It's not uh, an idea that I can prove or disprove at this stage. Of the game. You know what? Fuck you. I will listen to you for just a moment. Because uh, you're funny. But I am not going to open a cursed chest right now. Not even a little hard. It lies. So when you open one of these, uh, you become cursed temporarily. Where uh, it, it opens up just like a normal chest. Basically, you'll get an item, maybe some souls to go with it. But uh, you have to kill X number of enemies without getting hit. And if you take any damage whatsoever, you immediately die. And it even, um, it's a good thing I looked down there before I leaped, sort of. If you take any damage whatsoever, uh, you immediately die, and it ignores a 1-up, so you don't even get a 1-up. I was wondering if maybe there was a way to get up there for, like, a pressure switch to open that door, but it doesn't seem very likely. And I can't get up there anyway to test it. So... Oh, hey, buddy. Pay attention. Oh, thank you. Free heal. Oh, hey. Free gold. Another one? Yo! Yo! Fucking stop that. I'm increasingly growing skeptical of my twin daggers. That worked out fine. Come here. Come here. Come here. Yes, you do. 
Okay, HP or skills? It's been a while since I've done skills. Knife storm, increased on burning targets. That's pretty nice. Plus one skill. Yeah, I'm, I'm growing skeptical on my twin daggers. The uh, 1.5 damage, I think, will quickly betray me uh, on the last boss if I even make it that far, because this area's been kicking my butt. There's not like a set amount per floor or anything like that. It's all random generated. Okay, it's getting foggy, which means I'm gonna start encountering invisible guys. Yep, there's arrows back a fire grenade causes six arrows to fall from victims I wonder if that means so my understanding is that when you have a ranged weapon like throwing knives with limited ammunition ammo three is that right oh ammo eight am I dumb I could have sworn that said three uh you can get some of your ammo back from items like this one that says causes six arrows to fall from victims on the fire grenade. I wonder if that means if I hit them with it, I get arrows back, which is great, or if I kill them, I get arrows back, which is also good, but will be less useful for me on a long boss fight like I'm about to uh, have. Foggy over there. Oh. Okay. No fire. 
still have two heals, which is amazing to me. This does seem like the final path. So I will have to do some backtrack. More HP. Yep, there it is. Okay. Insufferable Crypt, so we will be seeing the final boss in my first ever run recorded. That's lovely. But fingers crossed, maybe just maybe. Just maybe I can find another skills upgrade or some upgrade. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna get a full heal anyway, so there's no reason for me to bother trying to heal up all the way. There we go. Flashbang. All that for a flashbang seven, huh? No way, buckaroo. That's weird. Okay. Hang on, what's that? There is something in the list. It's a mummy rub? Is a mummy the misty enemy here. First ice grenade I've seen all run, that's a surprise. This grenade's pretty good, but uh, not with a fire grenade. I need to think pretty hard about if I want to commit to uh, taking 1.5 damage. I think I do. My amulet, my amulet reduces my damage taken by 15%. Um, so I'm only taking like 1.35 damage. That's still a lot. I do have four flasks now, but I think I died. I died on the last boss with 30% damage reduction last time. This oil will synergize with my fire. So I'm gonna do it. As you will soon see. I'll take these guts for absolutely no reason. As you'll soon see, uh, I'll be relying more on skills than melee attacks on this boss anyway, so I don't think I'd be getting too much HP recovery anyway. What I will do is level up that grenade. That's already leveled up. What else do I got? Oil sword, I do have now, so let's level that up. And throwing knife. Fire. No, excuse me, it's already leveled up. So, that's what I got. 19 cells left, huh? I've got so many items that I still have just not unlocked, period. 
I'll, I'll work towards Lightning Bolt, even though I'm not interested in it. Okay. Here we go. Is this going to be a, a first time kill? Or a first time recorded kill? The Watcher. This is a big motherfucker. Um, okay. not seem like I'm regaining my uh, throwing knives from the fire grenade. Maybe they specifically mean arrows? And this is the... I can talk while I play. This is basically the fight. Fight him on his own for a while, dodges poison, dodges dives. Get him to the in-between phases, and then do that with his tentacles. I'm off to a really good start, but he is just going to start going around faster. And he's going to start getting more aggressive with his poison. Whoa, whoa. You got to time these dodges really well. You're gonna have a bad time. Here it comes. I have not hit him with my sword yet. There. Roll. Zoom. Roll. going so well. Okay, but this is what fucked me up before. He really starts getting aggressive with his tentacles. And he brings in this, like, swooping from the side tentacle attack that comes from hop. Comes from off camera most of the time. It only gets faster and faster, so there it is. Fuck. So pretty soon here, it's gonna be time for a heal. Heals cover 60% of your HP. So I'm not quite at a deficit enough to want it just yet. Okay, okay, down to one, down to one. This is going! Oh, that could have been better, that could have been better. Poison? Okay. He's gonna do like some fucking crazy poison attack here soon. There it is. Oh, 
Oh, that was such a clutch dodge. I'm not used to being in melee range of him. He does this little uh, electric bump attack if you're uh, too close to him. Okay, that was okay. Still have two shit. Okay, I'm not feeling good about this. Oh, I have all of my throwing throwing knives back. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, that was good. That was good. So pretty soon. That was last heal. That was last heal. See that time, bitch. Oh, I'm I'm not gonna win. I am going to die. Oh fuck. He's so fast. There's like some optimal way to position there to see where this attack is going to come from. Oh god, that scared me. It's so fast. Okay. Oh, that's a good way to handle that. Right in the fucking corner. Oh, dodge. Okay, okay, here we go, 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 here we go. Come on! Come on! No! Oh, fuck! Oh! Oh, that was it. I had it. I had it. Oh my god. I put my controller down and I hang my head in shame. That will be all for this episode of Dead Cells. I hope you had a good time and maybe there will be another episode someday. But for now, I need to go. Love you, bye. What is this frame rate shit going on right now?